The James Webb Space Telescope has made a shocking discovery that defies easy explanation. From millions of light years away, the telescope has detected a series of luminous patterns that bear an uncanny resemblance to the bright lights of urban areas on Earth. Could this be a sign of an advanced alien civilization? Or is it simply a natural phenomenon yet to be understood? Join us as we delve into the mind-bending implications of the James Webb Space Telescope's latest findings and explore the mysterious depths of the universe. To understand how the JWST discovered such miraculous findings, it might be a good idea to take a step back to why the JWST has been brought to life. The James Webb Space Telescope is a joint project of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. The project was first proposed in 1996 as a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, and it was initially scheduled to launch in 2007. However, due to various technical and funding issues, the launch was repeatedly delayed. Undoubtedly, the James Webb Space Telescope is the largest and most powerful telescope for space science in human history. However, it took NASA approximately 25 years to design and develop this exceptional masterpiece, even making presidents feel proud. This is an extraordinary achievement, and it opens a new chapter in our understanding of the universe. We've only just begun to explore the universe, and the JWST promises to help us unlock even more of its secrets, Biden said. Currently, the telescope is functioning at an incredibly frigid temperature of minus 266.75 degrees Celsius, just a few degrees away from absolute zero, which is at minus 273 degrees Celsius. To maintain this extremely low temperature, the JWST orbits around the Sun instead of the Earth, unlike the Hubble telescope. It circles around 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, at a specific point known as the L2 Lagrange point, where it stays at all times, enabling it to safely orbit around the Sun while keeping the temperature at its optimum level. The JWST has a key scientific goal, to study the formation of the first galaxies. By observing these distant objects, the JWST is effectively looking back in time, allowing astronomers to study the universe as it appeared billions of years ago. On July 11, 2022, U.S. President Joe Biden presented a deep field photograph taken by the JWST from the White House, emphasizing the telescope's ability to capture images of distant galaxies billions of light years away. The concept of deep fields gained notoriety in 1995 when the Hubble Space Telescope focused on a tiny area of the sky for 10 consecutive days, discovering thousands of previously unknown objects, the majority of which were galaxies located billions of light years away. By gathering data at the same wavelengths as visible light photos of nearby galaxies taken by Hubble and other telescopes, astronomers can directly compare JWST views. This comparison gives us an exciting glimpse into the possibilities of life beyond our planet and provides a unique perspective on the growth and development of cosmic structures. The JWST has been designed to observe a lower frequency range than Hubble, mainly from long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared wavelengths. It can visualize wavelengths made from 0.6 to 28 micrometers. Its primary mirror is made up of 18 hexagonal mirror segments made of gold-plated beryllium. These combine to form a mirror having a 6.5 meter diameter. The James Webb has two infrared cameras. The first one is the Near Infrared Camera, also called NeoCam, which captures the shorter infrared wavelengths. The second one is the Mid Infrared Instrument, or MiraCam, which captures the longer infrared wavelengths. The photos vary depending on which camera was used to capture them. It also uses a five-layer sunshield constructed from Captain E to block light and heat from the sun, moon, and earth. So far, NASA has provided us with five images captured by this giant one-of-a-kind telescope. And to say the least, these images are mesmerizing. Stars emit spectacular blue and orange light. Galaxies dance and crawl around each other in a tangle of stars and dust clouds and some of the oldest light in the known universe was emitted 13 billion years ago. But what if there was more to these images than just their breathtaking beauty? What if hidden within them were clues to the existence of alien life? Could it be that we're not alone in the universe? Despite the initial information being relatively unharmful, the potential dangers of exploring the universe cannot be ignored. But the most intriguing discovery so far has not come from a photo but rather spectrographic data of a planet called WASP-96b. This exoplanet is located around 1150 light-years away from Earth, and its analysis has the potential to reveal exciting new information about the universe beyond our solar system. 
Could this be the first step in discovering alien life in the vast expanse of the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope is outfitted with a suite of scientific instruments that are designed to explore the universe in unprecedented detail. One of these instruments is the Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, which is capable of measuring the intensity of various light wavelengths. Recently, Nearest was pointed towards a planet called WASP-96b, an exoplanet located approximately 1,150 light-years from Earth. This planet is nearly half the mass of Jupiter and has a quick orbital period, meaning it orbits its home star very closely and completes one orbit in just 3.4 Earth days. Because of its close proximity to its star, the planet's atmosphere is heated to an incredibly high temperature of around 530 degrees Celsius. Despite the inhospitable conditions on WASP-96b, the nearest data revealed an exciting discovery, the presence of water vapor in its atmosphere. Scientists were able to analyze the spectrum of light emitted by the planet and identified the signature of water molecules. This discovery could provide valuable insights into the formation and evolution of planetary systems, as well as the potential for habitable worlds beyond our solar system. Overall, the discovery of water on WASP-96b is a significant milestone for the James Webb Space Telescope and the field of exoplanet research. It highlights the incredible capabilities of this groundbreaking instrument and the potential for future discoveries that could transform our understanding of the universe. In the upcoming months, the telescope will be directed to capture pictures of a different planet, which is believed to have the potential to support life. Nevertheless, it's important not to jump to conclusions. Nonetheless, Experts are confident that they can utilize spectral images of various planets, including those beyond our galaxy and solar system, to enhance their exploration for any indications of life in the universe's most remote areas. But what if I tell you that Webb's current pictures might show signs of alien life? This awe-inspiring feature is 290 million light-years away from Earth. The situation in the constellation Pegasus, named after the winged horse from Greek mythology, it stunned astronomers when it was first discovered in 1877. They had never seen such a compact group of galaxies. We are talking about Stefan's Quintot. Locked in a sort of cosmic dance, two of the galaxies are currently in the process of merging. This new image is considered to be especially significant because it shows the type of interaction that drives the evolution of galaxies and can be the mechanism for galaxies' growth. It provides scientists with new insights into how galactic interactions lead to star formation as well as reveals more detail about a black hole in that region. The image also shows outflows driven by a black hole in Stefan's Quintet, in a level of detail never seen before, NASA officials said. While we cannot say for certain whether or not extraterrestrial life exists in the constellation Pegasus, the new image of the merging galaxies provides tantalizing evidence that it is indeed a possibility. The detailed observation of outflows driven by a black hole in Stefan's Quintet raises the exciting prospect that this region may host some form of alien life. The merging galaxies in Pegasus are exciting, but another picture from the JWST shows a potentially habitable planet with the building blocks of life in its atmosphere, making it an even more likely candidate for alien life. It might look like a jellyfish without any tentacles, but it's actually the Southern Ring Nebula, approximately 2,500 light-years away from Earth, and officially dubbed NGC 3132. A planetary nebula is created when a dying star expels large amounts of mass over a period of successive waves. In these pictures, we can see those waves. There is also a bubbly, almost foamy orange material around the edges that exists because molecular hydrogen expands and lights up the gas and dust. The image is false color, and depending on whether you're looking at it with near-infrared light versus mid-infrared light, the image has been colored to appear more blue or red respectively. The hosts also noted an Easter egg, a narrow filament near the top of the nebula that is radially aligned and appears to be blue in the near-infrared image. One astronomer had initially insisted it was nothing remarkable. Others speculated that it could be an edge-on galaxy, or a disk galaxy that appears at high angles to the line of sight. The doubting astronomer lost the bet. It was indeed an edge-on galaxy. While there is currently no concrete evidence to suggest that the Southern Ring Nebula is hosting alien life, its unique composition and characteristics make it a promising target for further exploration and study. Scientists have speculated that the nebula's proximity to Earth and the presence of certain compounds may make it a likely location for the development of extraterrestrial life. However, until more research is conducted, 
the true potential of the Southern Ring Nebula in the search for alien life remains uncertain. This is not only the first full-color image to be produced by the James Webb Space Telescope, it is also to date, the most clear and full infrared image of the distant universe ever produced. This image covers a patch of sky approximately the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length. It's just a tiny sliver of the vast universe, Nelson explained in a statement. Another host commented that the telescope was so powerful, the scientists could not find a single spot where there was mere blank sky. It's teeming with galaxies. One of the selling points of the James Webb Space Telescope is that it can detect infrared light. Historically, the most difficult part of the electromagnetic spectrum for astronomers to observe. Indeed, from Earth's surface, infrared astronomy is virtually impossible because of all the infrared light generated on Earth from heat and which is scattered in the atmosphere. Only in the darkness of space can a telescope like James Webb detect infrared light. That incredible ability allows for the space telescope to take images like this one, which would be impossible with even the largest ground-based telescope. If you look carefully at the image, you will see white galaxies that were formed roughly around the time that the Earth and Sun were also being formed. Some galaxies look stretched and pulled because they've been distorted by gravity from black holes or supermassive galaxies with black holes at their center, as Einstein famously predicted.